I have to wonder if this person is, you know, last night, as it turned out, we were dealing with someone that was having a mental health crisis, and it's fair to wonder if that's the, the, the situation here tonight as well. Well, you would um, certainly say this person is not um, thinking clearly at this time or in their right mind. I, I, I don't think we'd be going out on a stretch to say that, Desmond, and certainly meaning no disrespect, but you just don't do something like this um, with police officers behind you trying to get you to uh, to yield and, of course, give up and you continue to do this and make gestures. And, you know, Desmond, when, when I say this, I mean, it just takes one wrong movement. You know, what if you jump out of that vehicle and there's something shiny in your hand? You know, that could be a very dangerous yep. situation. Yeah, well, absolutely. And a phone. again, because of, of what this suspect is wanted, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. a, a black cell phone or something, and if you have that in your hand and you are, you know, kind of holding that in, in uh, maybe you know, horizontally and it's made to look like a gun, in, in a split second you're putting the police in a very, very difficult situation. I have to wonder if they have the less than lethal at the ready, some of these units. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see next time if the suspect does that. We'll see if we can get a view of the officers and if we see them holding rifles that have like, like a green butt or a green strap then we'll know that those are are less than lethal rounds they may just need to have that employed we haven't seen anything in this person's hands but they are really really testing the the, the patience and, and the metal of these officers 